Hello, greetings from Arknix. In this video, we are going to see about the smart retrofit switch modules from the house of Arknix. With the use of smart retrofit switch modules, you can convert your existing traditional switchboard into a smart Wi-Fi control switchboard. And for doing that, you just need these kind of small modules uh, from the house of Arknix. So we'll quickly jump into a demo of how it works and what are the uses of using these modules. Right, so this is the actual module uh, which is uh, two gang switch, so which can control two switches. Right, and this one is a four gang module which can control like four switches. So I've connected two of them uh, here. So this one is newer model uh, which is upcoming, and this is the actual uh, two gang switch module which you just uh, which we just signed here right now, and the other one is a dimmer module. So with this, you can control the existing switchboard using Wi-Fi. So let's see how that works. So I've connected all these switches to these bulbs parallelly, right? So the last one corresponds to the last uh, yellow bulb, and this one corresponds to red, and this one corresponds to the blue, and this last one is a normal uh, LED ceiling light, right? I'm just turning off everything. So as you can see, you can control all these switches using uh, the regular traditional switch, right? So with that, you can also control these switches using these uh, three modules which are already connected. Uh, let's see how that works. Right? So I'm just entering the Smart Life app in here in my mobile, right? And you can see this yellow and red. So this this is corresponding to these two uh, switches, right? The last two, so this and this, right? So let's see if it's controlled using Wi-Fi. So I'm just turning the yellow bulb on and turn the red bulb on. So both are turning on. Turning it off, turning it off. So you can control this using Wi-Fi using the Smart Life app. So coming back, so I've also connected the blue bulb here uh, in, a, in the next uh, two gang switch module and left the other one switch as idle intentionally. So I'm just turning on the blue bulb here and turning off it in here. So it works perfectly, right? So let's go back to the dimmer module, which is the normal bulb. Right, as you can see, it's turned off. I'm just turning it on. So the bulb is on and uh, can control the brightness of it, right, from here. So you can reduce the brightness to like 20% or you can make it to like 100%, so whichever way you want. So this uh, dimmer module, so the last one, works on any existing LED bulb. So it need not to be a Wi-Fi or any special bulb. So this is a normal LED bulb, which you can get it from the shop. Right, and uh, this module can control the intensity of the brightness. Right, all these can be controlled via Wi-Fi. So let's just turn it off to allow more focus on the video. Right, so with that, you can also control these uh, switches with different ways of uh, controls. Right, so let me go to the setting. You can see the relay status, which will remember the last status when there is a power cut. And you can also control the switch type, whether the rocker switch, I mean the traditional switch and the Wi-Fi switch has to be synchronous or in different ways or should act as a two-way switch or so. And you can also see the, sorry, see the uh, timer where you can set up countdown timer, where you can set up schedule, circulate, random and inching. Inching is a pre-offset timer, right? So every time you turn on a device, it will be turned off with a specific amount of time that you set. So say for example, I set to 10 seconds and uh, I'm turning this on for 10 seconds for the blue bulb, right? So engine is turned on for 10 seconds. So let me turn on the blue bulb here, right? So you can wait for 10 seconds. It will turn, it will be turned off automatically. Right? So we haven't turned it off manually. So every time uh, this can be set up to any appliances, it could be your mobile charger, it could be anything. So you can control the preset off timer. So this is a new feature with our uh, retros, retrofit modules, right? So coming back to the switches, you can also, I mean, coming back to the modules, you can also control these models using Wi-Fi. I've already connected Google in here. You could uh, see the Google mini speaker in here. So let's see if it works. So I'm just opening this up. I'm not going to turn it on here. I'm just asking Google to turn it on. Hey Google, turn on yellow bulb. Okay, turning the yellow bulb on. Right, so you can see the yellow bulb is already on. I'm not touching it. Hey Google, turn on red bulb. 
All right, turning the red bulb on. Hey Google, turn off yellow bulb. Sure, turning the yellow bulb off. So let's try turning off the red bulb from this switch. Right, so this is the red bulb switch, the second one. Yes, it's turned off. So it can be controlled in multiple ways, like you can see, and all other countdown, uh, timer, and schedules works perfectly with, with uh, all these appliances. Right, and you can also control the brightness of it uh, using Google. Uh, let's check that out. Hey Google, turn on the normal bulb. Sure, turning the normal bulb on. Hey Google, set the brightness of normal bulb to 20%. Okay, setting the normal bulb brightness. Hey Google, set the brightness of normal bulb to 100%. Sure, setting the normal bulb brightness to 100%. Right, hey Google, turn off normal bulb. Sure, turning off the normal bulb. Right. So yeah, like this way you can con you can use these uh, retrofit switch modules to control your appliance in multiple different ways. Please visit www.orknix.com for more details or you can also WhatsApp us from the website. You could see the contact details in the website. Thank you.